Good morning dear students. This is Shagufta. As I told you in the last video, I am back today with few more questions. So, without making much delay, let us begin today's video. Now that we have learned about different types of angles, let us try to identify them in real life objects. Here are a few pictures in which angles are marked. Dear children, look at these pictures carefully. These are the things which you can notice in your daily life, isn't it? Identify the types of angles in these items. So let us begin with the question number 17. Question number 17 is, count the number of acute, obtuse and reflex angles formed inside the given figure. Here they have given a figure. You have to count the number of acute angle, obtuse and reflex angles formed. Can you see? This mark indicates the formation of angles. Okay. When the two rays meet, there is a formation of angle. So you have to count the number of acute, obtuse and reflex angle. So acute is the small angle which is less than 90 degree. Obtuse is a obtuse is little bigger angle compared to acute so it is greater than 90 degree and reflex angle is greater than 180 degree so let's find out the number of acute angles so here is acute angle so one and this angle can you see the small angles all the small angles are acute angle this angle is also acute this is not acute and this the small angle is an acute so acute angles are 3 write down the answer acute angle is equal to 3 3 acute angles next one obtuse obtuse angle so see here can you notice this angle it is wider than these three so this is obtuse angle fine so one obtuse angle and reflex angle reflex angle is greater than 180 degree it means one of the rays is downwards can you see here see this is reflex angle one reflex angle it is greater than 180 degree so here is your 18th question identify and explain the different types of angles marked in the letter z of the english alphabet so here is the letter z and angle formation is here fine which angle is this can you notice it is less than 90 degree smaller angles that it is acute angle both the angles are acute here fine write down the solution both the angles b o t h both the angles marked in the letter Z are acute angles acute angles here they have given identify and explain we have identified that these are acute angles now we have to explain why these are called acute angles because write down in the next line they are acute angles because their measurement 
the measures are less than 90 degree less than 90 degree fine so the 19th question is write the types of angles made by the hands of the clocks consider only non reflex angles they have given in the bracket it is non reflex it means these angles are not reflex angles okay write the types of angles made by the hands of the clocks such an interesting question it is you see these clocks and the hands of the clocks in your daily life right so the first question can you notice you just have to see whether it is smaller angles or bigger angles fine see the space here it has the wide space so the angle which has the wide space it is obtuse angle fine i will name it as o easy to identify obtuse angle then then go for b question b it is l shape all the l shape angles are right angles fine it could be in the reverse shape also so this is also right angle this is also a right angle and this is also a right angle can you see the l shapes one horizontal and one vertical that forms right angle come to the c question so here also it is greater than 90 degree has the wider space so it is also obtuse angle see the d question just look at the difference between c and d see here it has the wider space and it has little narrow space so it is acute small angle is acute and the big angle here it is obtuse so shall we write the answer i don't answer he is obtuse obtuse angle fine b is i told you all the l shape angles are 90 degree and hence it is right angle right angle fine the c is also obtuse angle and the last one d is acute small one acute angle I hope you felt this session useful. In the next class, we shall continue with concept 1.2. Till then, take care, stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you.